We started the year out at the third annual Van Life Pride, an LGBTQ plus meetup in Arizona that is especially important and dear to us since we first founded and hosted it three years ago. We gathered under the winter desert sun, a community of nomads, sharing in conversation, laughter, food, music, and other talents. Our friend Nomadic Alpo made coffee every morning, and Nikki made a meal to debut the new outdoor kitchen. Al's new stage was a centerpiece for music and dancing. Our hearts were full, and we left with new memories and friends. Immediately after, we went to another nomad gathering nearby, the largest of its kind, Spoolie Palooza. This event went by in a flash for us as Abby was booked with tattooing, and Nikki made several meals. But of course, we managed to have a great time, dancing nearly every night with our friends. After Schooly Palooza, we hit the road for another big adventure. We put Abby's camper in storage and all together in one van left the States, bound for Baja California Sur, Mexico. The desert views were vast and beautiful, and our first night in Mexico began with a big surprise. Nikki, Nikki, wake up. There's something strange outside the van. Did you hear that? Yeah, what was that? I can't see through the window, it's too dark. We need to go outside and check it out. Um, what are we looking at? That's a ceiling? It looks like a ceiling. It's okay, right? I'm worried about it. Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh. This is wild. Okay, there's the seal. Here's who we are. Here's our van. <laughs> it woke Abby up. Look at the <laughs> After Nikki got dangerously close to get a better look, we decided to head to bed. First morning in Baja, and what do we wake up with? <laughs> a big potato. A big potato. A big potato. Hi, you're so cute. Big potato. Oh, he's wagging his tail. He waved at me. Hi, honey. The mysterious creature turned out to be a male elephant seal who spend most of their time in the ocean and only come to land for brief rest. As the seal makes his way back into the sea, we feel grateful for the experience. The supreme beauty of Baja awaits us. rough and winding. The views are lovely. We enjoy the journey as much as the destination. And you'll find us where the desert and mountains meet the sea, soaking in the peace of each sunrise and sunset. gathering called Escapar a la Baja. In center camp, there was yoga each morning and music every night. Nikki made food, and I set up my tattoo studio. Our favorite part of the event was Nikki fulfilling her lifelong dream of being a DJ. to her set, 
setting the vibe for an amazing drag show by Mexican locals. Abby and I first experienced Baja four years ago, and we were quickly blown away by the landscape, hospitality of the locals, and the calming energy it brought us. However, we experienced a lot of that trip on our own. This time around, we showed up with a caravan of people that have quickly become some of the most impactful relationships in our lives, and it heightened the experience even more to be able to share it together. We're gonna see some whales up close. I'm manifesting. Too close? Not too close. Not too close. Okay, we wanna see whales close, but not too close. <laughs> we have to go over there. This is wild. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! They're huge! Mini! Let's go! I honestly wasn't sure if I'd want to come back here, simply because sometimes I find it best not to relive a place or time in your life that meant so much. But I realized I could appreciate the same earth under my feet while experiencing it with renewed energy, also knowing I've shed and grown so much since then. And I had a reminder that it's so much more than just stunning views. It's often the people that make a place memorable. Drink service! <laughs> <laughs> so good! <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> <laughs> Life is unpredictable and not certain, so I've promised myself to keep being curious about the unknown so that I can fully experience the infinite possibilities that are available to all of us if we just step into the fear and give ourselves the gift of finding out what we are made of. There's so much damn beauty in that quest. In saying all of these words, I still can't really articulate what this place means to me. I didn't know then I was laying a foundation for this full circle moment. Four years ago, I never thought I would have written a cookbook, but I did it, and so many of the recipes have come from my original time in Baja where I was cooking food that was 100% speaking to who I was. So here we are. I'm so proud of myself, and I'm so excited to share this book with you all. Thank you for staying along for the ride. Wait a second, before we end the video, I'm gonna make a quick meal for you all because if you have been an OG viewer, Abby and I used to do our Ride and Eat series where we would share what we were making. And in honor of my book, we're gonna do just that. So if you're interested in the book, it is gonna be in the link in the description. It is on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, and there are a list of local bookstores that I'll get out to you. I'm so excited. I've been working on that book for two years. So we are going to, Let's cook together. Come on. So today what I'm making is what I like to call a rainbow couscous salad. But instead of using couscous, I'm going to use purple cauliflower and broccoli as the couscous. Plant-based wives and we're traveling the globe. Anybody remember that? Anybody? Okay. Okay. So here's a list of ingredients. Pause the screen. Go get them. Get our broccoli in my teeth. Um, People are gonna have something to say about this broccoli and what I'm about to do with it. Some people I know are going to laugh, but bear with me. Trust me, this is gonna be good. So this is what the couscous looks like after it's grated. And I'm just gonna throw this into a little pot of salted boiling water. And then we're just gonna cook it for like 10 minutes. Uh, I'm not going to start. I'm just going to put this on lower to simmer. And we've got go couscous.
So here's all the accoutrements for our chimichurri. So this is a loose chimichurri. I don't have parsley. Normally it has parsley and oregano. I'm doing cilantro and oregano. It's what I had. But you can also just put whatever herbs you want. This is just, I'm using chimichurri because it's a, the basic ingredients. But now I'm going to add a little bit of red wine vinegar, really good olive oil. And I don't want to use the uh, olive oil that I use for cooking because I'm not actually cooking this. It's just what's on the salad. So I want it to taste good. And that is an imported Italian yes. olive oil. In on Mexico. Tea. We were really excited to find it because that's what you want to put with like bread and stuff like that. You don't want to cook with it. You just want to eat it as is. And that's it. I'm going to mix it up. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, uh, and that's gonna be our dressing for our salad. Super simple. Rainbow colors, bright flavors. Just buy the cookbook. This is why I don't do a TV show. we put in the salad and then dress it with the chimichurri and that's literally it that's all she wrote i'm gonna add our chimichurri oh my gosh look at it look at it Ugh, it's so pretty and this is a great salad to make if you want to just do meal prep me and abby can we usually eat salads for lunch because i make a more elaborate dinner most of the time because that's what i like to do so this is just something quick and because we've had so many nachos and tacos ba has been amazing but we need something a little bit lighter. All right, let's try this thing, because I'm telling you, I literally just made this up five minutes before this video started. <laughs> mm. Oh my God, it's really good. It's so refreshing. So I really hope you enjoy this recipe. We, Me and Abby are just really trying to enjoy our lives as it happens. So I know we haven't been on YouTube a lot, um, but we will catch you up when we get inspired to do that. Um, in the meantime, Go to the link in the description, check out my cookbook. I am, I'm super excited to share it with you. It's been a long journey and a lot of these recipes have been inspired by my travels and a lot of that being here in Baja, Mexico. So um, if you're interested, Barnes & Noble, Amazon, and I will get you the link to a list of local bookstores, hopefully in your area. Yeah, we'll catch you next time, whenever that is. Bye. Pause and get all of your stuff ready and we can cook it together. These videos are made possible through the support of our patrons. Join the Ride and Seek crew on Patreon today. Thank you, crew!